Welcome to this month's General Engineering Pro News Roundup. I'm Rebecca and here are the top stories. Adnot Gas has awarded EPC contracts worth a combined $550 million to expand the natural gas pipeline network in the UAE by about 300 kilometres. The extension, known as the Estadama project, will enable higher volumes of natural gas to be transported to customers in the Northern Emirates. At its current capacity, the pipeline enables delivery of sales gas to customers across Abu Dhabi, Dubai and the Northern Emirates, meeting over 60% of the UAE's gas requirements, according to ADNOC data. Green Gold Energy has secured development approval for the Morgan Soul and Battery Energy Storage System project in South Australia. This will be its largest project yet, estimated to generate an investment of over 185 million Australian dollars. The plant will be constructed over a 622 hectare site in Mid Murray Council and will have 108 megawatts of solar capacity and 91.7 megawatt hours of BESS. The Royal Academy of Engineering has awarded Dame Judith Hackett the 2024 President's Medal. As a trustee and chair of the External Affairs Committee, she fostered the launch of the This Is Engineering campaign to encourage young people to consider engineering as a career. In 2017, she also led the independent review of building regulations and fire safety following the Grenfell Tower fire, making a series of recommendations which have since been implemented to address issues with construction. AG&P LNG and BK LNG Solution completed an agreement to introduce the first spot cargo into China. The partnership signifies a pivotal moment for enhancing LNG supply reliability in China as the import market is set for substantial growth. The first delivery is expected by the end of August this year. In an analysis of more than 50,000 individuals worldwide, carriers of gut blastocystis were linked to indicators of good cardiovascular health and decreased body fat. Blastocystis, a single-celled organism, is commonly found in the digestive system. Additional studies are needed to determine whether increasing blastocystis levels represents a viable disease prevention strategy, just as many studies investigate the effects of modulating gut bacteria to fend off various medical conditions. And finally, Kite Mill has secured a multi-million euro grant from the European Innovation Council to launch its wind energy device commercially. The Norwegian's 100 kilowatt device operates at high altitudes where winds are stronger, resulting in higher energy availability than traditional wind turbines. Kite Mill is now eligible for the EU's blended finance programme, which will match funding up to 8 million euros in private investment. That's all we've got time for today. Don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn at NES Fircroft for your daily dose of engineering news, career advice and job vacancies. See you next time for our engineering news roundup.